Hey, what is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're enjoying your summer so far. If you haven't gone back and watched last week's fri last week Friday's video, last week Friday's episode, I don't know why. Some I say the dumbest things sometimes. Go back, watch the video from last week Friday where we go over the Paldea Evolved Master Set. We're getting closer and closer to completing that thing. We're going to give it away to one lucky subscriber. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, Definitely click that red button down below. Leave a like and a comment on the video. It goes a long way for the algorithm. Uh, that's enough self-promotion. I want to talk to you guys about tag teams. We've talked about tag teams a lot. There's been a lot of market manipulation going on with tag teams. A lot of buyouts that have happened with tag teams. Especially when it comes to the alternate arts. But I was looking. I was uh, vending the Milwaukee Regional Championships a couple weeks ago. Uh, and a lot of people were coming up to me with rainbow rare tag teams. Rainbow rares. And I was looking at them and I was like, I don't know what to offer on these right now. Because... Uh, it seems like these are kind of going through a buyout too. Uh, so we're going to kind of look at the market on some of these Rainbow Rare tag teams. And you can let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Really cool looking cards, uh, but definitely going through a lot like what we saw from the alternate arts. It almost seems like uh, a lot of people are kind of going through the motions when it comes to some of these cards. They focused on alternate arts. When alternate arts got too expensive, they focused on some of the full arts. And those got too expensive, so they started focusing on some of the uh, Rainbow Rares. Focused on some of the trainer. It's just, it's crazy. I know, I know that... Uh, uh, Team Up, for example, was an underprinted set compared to the other uh, the other set. The Cosmic Eclipse has seen a small reprint on Broken Bond, saw a small reprint, and um, uh, Unified Mind saw a small reprint. Team Up saw nothing when it comes to reprints. So I know that they're super small printed compared to a lot of the sets that we have now, but they were, I mean, they were readily available for quite a while. So it's very interesting to see what is going on with the market right now. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to start out looking at the Mewtwo and Mew GX. We're, look, we're going over a year's worth of data here, uh, but some of these numbers are absolutely insane. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Looking at this Mewtwo and Mew GX, this one is from Unified Minds. Really cool looking card. In August of 2022, it was sitting at a one-year low of $92.80. And we saw some slow growth. Uh, so at the end of 2022, we saw a lot of growth in a lot of singles, especially uh, harder to pull singles like some of those alternate arts throughout the Sword and Shield era. But we also saw some growth from other areas too, like these rainbow rares right here. So in August of 2022, definitely started heading in the northern direction uh, up until February of 2023, where it really started to take off. And you can see a much steeper uh, incline right there in, in March, April of 2023. You can see it's sitting at a one-year high currently of 161.42 and continuing to just move in the upwards direction. Different for the Reshiram and Charizard. Reshiram and Charizard, as you remember, these got bought a lot during the pandemic, during this giant boom in Pokemon. Anything Charizard went through the roof. And Reshiram and Charizard was no different. Got hyped up by a lot of content creators, a lot of pack openers, uh, things like that where you had bounties and a lot of different chase uh Chase approaches trying to pull this card. Reshiram and Charizard uh, went off like crazy. And you can see definitely coming back down to earth now. We're in June of 2022. It's still sitting at a one-year high. That was when it was at 158.10. And now it's lost almost 20% of that. So in January of 2023, you can see it hovering right around that one-year low of 137.45. And then kind of leveling out. So this one got passed up by the Mewtwo and Mew GX tag team. Uh, now it's started to move up a little bit, sitting at 140.35. Uh, but definitely much, much further south than where we're used to seeing it. Uh, Charizard definitely not used to being in second place. Uh, the Eevee and Snorlax GX has taken off like crazy over the last few months. You can see in June of 2022, it was sitting at a one-year low of $65.23. Stayed relatively level, dropped back down again in August of 2022, then started seeing a little bit of growth in November of 2022. And then in January of 2023 is where it really started taking off. It's gained over $42, uh, which is over 50% over the past three months or so, sitting at 107.20 currently so that's a one year high for that one uh the charizard and breaks in much much like what we saw from the reshram and charizard saw some massive growth uh you can see in august of 2022 it was sitting at a one year high of 102.62 and then backed off quite a bit in january of 2023 when we saw a lot of these other pokemon tag teams gaining steam when it came to Rainbow Rares, the Charizard and Brixen was going in the opposite direction. In January of 2023, it actually hit a one-year low, sitting at 91.09. Now, it's it's rebounded very nicely. It's come right back to that one-year high, sitting at 101.18 currently, uh, but definitely saw quite the dip uh, for Charizard and Brixen not too long ago. The Gengar and Mimikyu, this is one of the copies, one of the cards that got brought up to me a few times at the Milwaukee Regional, and I could not believe the price that it was continuing to climb to, because I 
offered people around $80, which is about the market price for this current card. There wasn't a whole lot of sales on TCG Player, but the lowest listed ones were $140, $150. And I just wasn't comfortable paying anywhere close to that because they weren't selling at that price. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with Gengar and Mimikyu as we move forward. In June of 2022, this was sitting at a one-year low of $55.72. It's seen some nice steady growth over the past year, as you can tell, sitting at $82.70 currently. So it's gained about 40% over the past year, continuing to head in the northern direction but if people are starting to buy this card at that $150 price point it wouldn't surprise me if Gengar and Mimikyu really started taking off and we saw a much more dramatic increase over the next month or so. Uh, the Pikachu and Zekrom much like the Charizard and Brakeson uh, this one and the Reshirama Charizard this one heading in different directions you can see in uh, July of 2022 right around a one year high of $81.07 it's lost over 30% of that uh, since then in January of 2023 it actually hit a one year low of 62.31. it rebounded a little bit, uh, but still only sitting at 69.75 currently, which is still much closer to its one-year low than its one-year high. The Blastoise and Piplup has done really nice over the last few months. Very steady uh, from the back half of 2022. You can see in June of 2022, right around that $40 mark, started going down a little bit. Hit 37.54 in November, and then kind of leveled off a little bit until January, and then just saw some massive growth not too long after that. It's leveled out a little bit over the last couple months, but still sitting at a one-year high of $50 and 54 cents. If we look at the Reshiram and Zekrom, I smile because I just love this card. It's such a beautiful card, especially the full art version. The full art version from Cosmic Eclipse, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom doing a lot of work over the past few months. Uh, in June of 2022, sitting at a one-year low of $35.49. Saw some slow growth up until November before it backed off a little bit, right? Fell back below that $40 mark in November, December, and then January. It started to explode a little bit in price, much like what we saw with some of these other Rainbow Rares. Sitting at $49.00 and 26 cents currently, so that's a one-year high for that bad boy. The Arceus and Dialga and Palkia We've seen some massive buyouts over the alternate art over the past couple weeks. Uh, the Rainbow Rare version also doing extremely well. In June, July, August, September, October, really level right around that $37 mark. You can see it's one year low being hit in uh, October of 2022 where it hit $37.30. Then started to go up a little bit. We saw some slow growth up until February of 2023. And then started taking off. It's gained over $11 since then, sitting at $48.86 currently. That's a one year high for the ADP. Then we've got the Sagale and Lunala, also a beautiful card from Cosmic Eclipse. This isn't even an alternate art. The full art variant of this is not an alternate art. That card has gone absolutely nuts. It's over $150 right now on TCG Player. It's very, very pretty. I love the, this art. This is one of my favorite cards. Uh, but you can see in June, actually started trending backwards uh, in June of 2022, all the way up until January of 2023. This is the latest one-year drop we've seen, or one-year low we've seen out of all the cards we've looked at so far. $29.06 in January of 2023, and then really steady inclines after that. You can see some massive growth in February, March, April, May, and all the, all, all the way up to June, it's sitting at $43.52. So it's gained $14 just over the past couple months, over 50% growth just in two months. Absolutely insane. Here's the Gardevoir and Sylveon, which did see massive jumps, but it started much earlier than what we looked at from these other Pokemon. So you can see in June of 2022, it was sitting at $32.88. It basically grew 30% overnight. So July, August, September, October, 30% growth during that four-month stretch, and then really started leveling out. It actually looked like it was going to go backwards a little bit in December of 2022. It dropped back down to that $38 mark, but then starting to climb back up a little bit, sitting at $41.22 currently, just off of its one-year high of $41.40, which it hit recently. Then we've got the Garchomp and Giratina, which has just seen nothing but steady growth over the past year. This is a really, really good growth chart right here. In June of 2022, we're sitting at $22.76 as a one-year low. There really has not been any valley since then. You can just see real nice steady growth throughout the entire of the year all the way up to $37.55 which is where it's sitting right now so you're not looking at huge you're not looking at over 100% growth but you're still looking at about 75% growth over the past year without any dips whatsoever for that Garchomp and Giratina same thing with the Celebi and uh, Venusaur, we've seen a little bit more of a, a level path right here, especially in August, September, October. It kind of leveled off a little bit. You can see in June of 2022, it was sitting at that $28.11 mark. Saw some nice steady growth in August and then kind of leveled off a little bit all the way up until December of 2022, uh, where it started taking off again. Sitting at $36.55 currently. That's a one-year high for that one. Then we've got the Slowpoke and Psyduck. I think this is the last one that we're looking at. In June of 2022, it was actually starting to go 
backwards. Uh, it was going downwards. It was at 30-ish dollars in June and then dropped down 28.44 in November of 2022 before starting to take off. But like what we saw from a lot of these other ones in January of 2023 is when it actually exploded, really started taking off over the past few months, sitting at $34.50. So you're looking at about 20% growth, but it's experienced all of that over the last couple months, uh, which is absolutely insane. That's right. We still have the Raichu and the Lolan Raichu. Really cool looking card. I love the tag team. The alternate art of this one is like my favorite alternate art from the Sun and Moon block. Absolutely gorgeous. In June of 2022, it was right around that $27 mark and going in the opposite direction. Uh, in November, uh, December of 2022, it actually hit a one-year low of $23.74. And then you're looking at about 40% growth that it's experienced over the past six months. You can see in May of 2023, it hit that one-year high of $31.41. It's backed off a little bit, but still sitting at $31.16. So definitely some of these Sun and Moon rainbow rares, especially the tag team ones, something to definitely keep an eye on as we might see history repeat itself when you start going back down again. Uh, but very interesting to see how the market is kind of unfolding when it comes to all these other cards being bought out, what people are transitioning to, what they're looking at, so that way they can own some of these tag teams because maybe that's part of their collection goals. But you can let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I hope you enjoy the content. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. It goes a really long way for the algorithm. But most importantly, thank you just for taking the time to watch, to listen to me ramble. I really appreciate you guys more than I will ever be able to convey to you. Thank you so much for everything. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Until then, peace.